Gemini. Welcome to your April general reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Gemini. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear this message. So Gemini, I'm here to ask what's up about the month of April, what will be happening, unfolding, what you need to be aware of, know about, and even if anything is happening right now that you're unsure of or what's to come from it, let me help you get that clarity so with whatever happens, you have the best month possible. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card pull to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect with your energy. And so I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times. And during that, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions that you have in regards to April, anything that's on your mind about what you're currently going through so I can help you get the information you need to hear. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say for you guys for the month of April, what's to come, what's happening, what you need to be aware of, know about. So let's first see the general theme for Gemini this April. Tell me one of the themes for Gemini this month, spirit, for April 2024. What does Gemini need to hear about this month, be aware of this month? Tell me. Ooh, we have freedom here. This is like, it feels grand. It feels liberating. It feels exciting. It feels like you're giving yourself this opportunity to take a leap of faith this month. And it says, live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. So I do feel like you guys are putting yourselves out there more, whether that is to make new friends, whether that is to find new romances, whether that's in career just to kind of give yourself that freedom of being confident of living your true self and not giving a damn what anyone else has to say, just being you unapologetically. And that doesn't mean being selfish, arrogant, self-centered, but it means like, this is my time. I am freeing myself from what doesn't want to be in alignment with me, what won't be in alignment with me. And I'm accepting that. Like there's this huge acceptance here, Gemini, of just realizing what is keeping yourself from holding this potential of I want to do what I want to do. If the right person is there for me, they're going to accept me for that. And I just feel you guys are taking new chances this April. You guys are trying to just give it a go. It kind of feels that way. And I feel like this is bringing a lot more into your life than what you may have felt was blocked for a long time before. Sorry, I am kind of stumbling with my words here. Mercury retrograde. And for my Mercury ruled peeps out there, Geminis and Virgos, I know it's affecting you guys a little bit more. And maybe there's like a big throat chakra opening activation and awakening, whether this truth is something that you've held on to for a long time. Or it's just like the authenticity of what you felt like you couldn't be before around certain people and things that you're finally kind of freeing yourself from those expectations or opinions of people that I don't want to say really mattered in the first place, but just didn't matter as much as you kind of put the emphasis on. Tell me more. Cocoon of white light, rest in perfect love, understand oneness. You, Gemini, are the butterfly that is coming out of the cocoon here. 
you're out of the shell, you're out of the hermit energy. It's kind of similar to Taurus's reading. So if you do have strong Taurus in your chart, I suggest checking out the Taurus reading to see if there's more messages for you there. But it feels more present with you guys than it did with Taurus. Like Taurus, it was coming. Gemini, here it is. You are who you are. I'm hearing that song, Let It Go, from the movie Frozen. Like, you are who you are in your own power, in your own way. And you're coming out to express that. You're coming out to show that. And people are going to be surprised to see this essence of you again, especially if you guys have been a little bit in a hermit mode or especially if you have been kind of like detaching and isolating, which is fine. Sometimes we need to do that to recharge. But you are at your peak and potential now where you could put yourself back out there again and expect the best. You are protected when it says cocoon of white light. Spirit has blessed you with recognizing your own power, will, and ability to discern what is best for you and steer clear of anything that disrupts this freedom in your life. You guys are really protected as you move forward with this newfound freedom, with this newfound chance that you want to give on yourself. It's fueling you with divine light and inspiration to go ahead and make that move. Wow, this is beautiful. I love that. Okay, let's see what the tarot has to say to see how this will come out specifically for you guys. I even see like you guys want to change your hair color. Do it. <laughs> Ace of Fire, yes. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. An exciting new opportunity, career advancement. Change your life now. So, yes, I feel by just giving yourself that push that emphasis of taking ownership of making something happen of taking action it is going to lead you to this wonderful new opportunity and you know a big part of your success Gemini will be connecting to your authenticity of your wild free spirit that is unique that not a lot of people come by but inspires people and triggers and um triggers it could. It could definitely trigger when you shine that brightly. It could be some people are repulsed by it because they don't see themselves in being in that same happiness and that same wavelength as you are. So you could meet with some haters. But with this Ace of Fire, I do feel it's like you getting your confidence back to go for that opportunity that maybe you felt was unable to be acted upon before but you've reached this spiritual freedom and acceptance of yourself where anything is possible now. And it is making its way to you in something that it will be very exciting for you. It will make you want to act on it. It will make you want it. Like there will be no debating if you want to do this. It's something that you really want to do and you're going to give an automatic yes to this. It could be a new romance. It could be, again, career advancement. That's giving you your more power for you to... Uh, be a part of a company or be a part of your own business to call the shots, to be more in power of your creative vision and control, Gemini. Tell me more. Then we have the devil, ego, Ooh, ego death. And it says a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. This is when you face the ego within that wants to hold you back, that wants to make you doubt yourself, or even some of you guys, this could be devil energy around you. Um, someone that wants to control you, that doesn't want to see you being so free. Um, it feels like, a, I gotta say, like someone very possessive. Um, Capricorn energy here. It could be like a parent, it could be a ex, or like someone that's soon to be an ex, that doesn't, want you to go for this ace of fire and that could be presented to you at the beginning of the month or very soon. Why wouldn't they? That's the question you need to ask, Gemini. Why would they want to stifle this for me? Why wouldn't they want me to break free and do this? Are they threatened that if I live in my own freedom that that is going to take power and control away from them? And some of you guys, if this is inner, you know, this ace of fire comes in, this opportunity that you're passionate about, that you're excited about. But then, you know, the fear and the doubt start to kick in. Am I really ready for this? Can I really do this? Like, 
that is spirit's way of showing you what needs to be shed so you could live your freedom again. The doubts, the fears, the anxieties, the insecurities. That spirit does not want you to base your happiness or choices in, Gemini. Tell me more. Okay, then we have the page of fire. Yes, more fire energy. It's a fiery month for you this year, uh, Gemini. Outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. I've been telling you this. Yeah, and I feel it more and more now. And even if you're breaking some sort of mold, that you felt like you had to be a part of in order to be successful. You're meant to break that. It, you are not meant to go with the flow. You are not meant to, um, let me say that in a better way. You're not meant to go with the grain of what everyone else is doing in the same exact way. You're meant to bring your own spice, your own flavor, your own uniqueness to this world, period. And you're meant to connect with the things that you've always been excited about. This is someone who's outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. There could be a younger energy that has a crush on you, is starting to flirt with you, and may want to ask you out this month. Or if it's not like age-wise, it could just be like a little bit of a youthful energy, playful energy, um, player, play yet energy, kind of. But I feel when they meet you, that's going to really conflict within them as far as if they want to still remain that way but let's go ahead and clarify these cards to get a bit deeper here tell me more about the ace of fire for gemini the nine of fire sagittarius energy it says don't give up protect that which you've created have courage and believe in yourself i really do feel for a lot of you there's going to be an opportunity of some sort of partnership or some sort of breakthrough within your career or within something you've been working on to advance yourself, maybe a side job, a side hustle. Um, and with that investment, there may be people that want to have their say in what you do, say in your creative endeavors that you need to hold your boundaries against. They may want to take a piece of the pie that you've been working so hard to bake. Uh-uh. This is what I work for. This is how I see it. This is my vision. I know it's going to be successful. You have to hype yourself up this month, Gemini. And others of you, um, if this is a romantic pursuit, they've been flirting with you hard. And they've been making their moves a little bit like aggressively. And there may have been boundaries you put up because you know this person's coming off as a bit um, cocky or a bit overly confident, a little suave. So it's like, okay, are you just here for the fun time and then you're going to leave? I'm not going to entertain that. And this person's getting that message very clearly and it's intriguing them more. It's fascinating them more. It's making them hungrier for you, Gemini. But generally, yeah, this is something that you have the courage and the need to believe yourself and to follow that ace of fire lead it's almost as if spirit is giving you a breadcrumb to show you how happy you're going to be a taste of it should you work through the devil energy here that could be coming up for you guys so let's see what that devil energy is all about tell me more king of water Ooh, trustworthy compassionate respected cultured open your heart and mind to those around you trustworthy and heartfelt advice charity work I said, ooh, because some of you guys, this person, um, Scorpio Capricorn energy doesn't have to be. This is someone you once very dearly cared about or were even in love with or had a lot of love for. And they were very sly in the way that they would do something with the intent of purpose to control or to influence you. But make you feel like oh maybe they're not really doing that maybe they mean well and i'm just taking it the wrong way for some of you you're seeing through that type of energy that they put out to everyone else or that they at first put out to you but you know the deeper meaning is just control that's all they really want and they're not in alignment with love they're not in alignment with acceptance 
And that's why they can't allow me to be who I am. And some of you guys are just seeing the truth of that. And in that regards, maybe disconnecting from that energy and be like, you know what? I know you're wounded. I know you're hurt. You've been through a lot, but you're not going to drag me down with you. And maybe you're taking that king of water stance of holding your boundaries of love and compassion, but making it very clear what it is that you feel strongly about and what you're moving towards. And that's part of your dreams, I almost feel, with this king of wands or king of cups energy, excuse me. Now, others of you, this could just mean, um, you know, I'm seeing the devil and the angel on the shoulder here that you see in some cartoons. And this is when you want to break through the most, when you want to just put yourself out there and give it a chance. There will be that devil on your shoulder that says, don't do it. You're going to embarrass yourself. You're going to fail. Um, remember the past when this didn't work out. But then this king of water energy, which I do feel almost a spirit guide of yours. It feels like an angelic guide, maybe even a passed down loved one, especially one with masculine water energy who was stern when they needed to be, but also had that caring compassion side that they'd always show. They were always someone that would tell you the truth, but with love and care, not just to, you know, give you that hard love. They were someone that... um really helped you through the worst of times. And maybe you even lost this person at a young age. I'm seeing like the age of seven. I know that's so specific, but it's for someone out there. Um, And they want to come through and they want to say, Gemini, don't let your fears hold you back from what you're meant to live, from how you're meant to live. You're meant to live freely. You're meant to have fun. You're meant to have this wild nature of yours be explored. And of course, I'm not talking about wild in the sense of a lower vibrational. I'm talking about this curious, adventurous, mischievous energy that you have, that we're human and all have. But you know how to direct it in a way that is fulfilling for yourself and others, not in a way that self-sabotages. The only way you self-sabotage yourself is by not believing in yourself. So you may be kind of encountering those thoughts in the middle of the month that spirit wants you to break free from. And I see that you will with this page of fire here. Now, others of you, this romantic pursuit, um, they may be trying to do devil ways to woo you through sexual energy, through gifts, through trying to flex on you. When really you just want to see someone that is going to be emotionally available, emotionally dependent, like when they really see that the way that they thought to get you interested through the ego is not working, they maybe have to face with the fact that you want to see something deeper and are they willing to go that deep for you? Because that's the only thing you're expecting and wanting to participate in. Tell me more about this page of fire energy. At the end of the month for Gemini. Six of water. Scorpio energy. Memories from your history or childhood. Issues regarding children. Romanticizing the past with the page of fire. Bottom of the deck we have the five of air. Interesting. Okay. An unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. This is in the past. And this is what I was talking about, about letting other people's opinions or expectations of you weigh too heavily on what you want to do or what you felt like you should do. Not that, you know, it, you solely have your whole investment in other people, but it's like nosy people that couldn't help themselves or just critical people when you try to tell them of your success and your new way of wanting to do things that was just always shot down but it wasn't for the reasons you thought Gemini it wasn't because you really were providing something that was going to be messed up it's because you I almost feel the need to say that your life contract this lifetime was meant to at first be placed in an environment a family with people who were critical with people who would say no to you, who would push back on you. Because there's a part of your life karma from a past life that is meant to break free from that. That is meant to finally stand up for yourself and stand up for who you are and stand up for what you feel is right. That this lifetime you're meant to break past. 
but it was through the experience of what you were placed in for you to get that emphasis to push back finally. But these words of what people have said to you have just really seeded in the unconscious that's now meant to be like weeded out. And there may be gossip, you know, Gemini, because you're not doing what people thought you were going to do, because you're making a daring choice, but you have enough wisdom to know what you feel is going to be something that's in alignment with you. And with the cocoon of white light, from what spirit can't change within other people, what spirit can do, and even your spirit guide I was feeling with the king of water, is envelop you in this light, this white light of protection, of love. Even when you're having naysayers to remind you that I'm here for you, it's okay. Who you are is okay. What you want to do is okay. And I'm here for you with that. It's like putting like a warm blanket over someone's shoulders. But let's get into this page of fire and six of water here. So if this is that romantic pursuit, I feel it is. For some of you guys, I'm seeing the letter D as in Derek or Dana, first middle, last initial. Um, they may be trying to come back and may be using a tool in their toolbox they haven't used in a long time, which is sincerity, romantic, genuine care. Um, and I think in childhood they learned that pursuing people or situations that way was scary because they may have had their heart broken when they were vulnerable. So they put that down and thought that the flex and the charisma and the hoo-ha or whatever was the way to go about manifesting a partner but you're someone different Gemini I feel that very strongly here and you are just someone that sees through that and I think even for you guys that may have dealt with you know heartbreak in childhood the loss of someone or just not someone being there for you I think you are kind of tuning into that want of your inner child to have someone that can be exciting fun passionate but also romantic sincere that will help heal that wound. But if this is nothing romantic, then this is something entirely where you, despite what you've been through, despite the put downs, despite the hurt that has been seated in you for a long time with the Six of Cups, with the Page of Wands, you're choosing something different. And despite the fears, despite the worries, despite the distrust, you are choosing to trust in yourself, which is enough. And then that's when exciting opportunities come in. That's when you're going to get more invites to go to certain places, concerts, venues, parties, and see, you know, how much your motivation and belief in yourself can actually change things and even heal the past and your belief on anything that stemmed from the past. I love to see that beautiful energy. Okay. Let's go ahead and deep dive deeper into <laughs> this energy for you guys. Again, I wonder if it's because Mercury retrograde. I've been stumbling, especially on you guys. But it could be finding your truth again. It could be finding your genuine soul energy again that you guys have to practice every day at bringing about, but you'll get there. And it'll be amazing when you get there because so much good will come your way by being yourself. It's the magic we need in this world, Gemini. Your soul, your essence. Okay, freeze up mood, moon, excuse me. Number 26, identity, self-discovery, and vulnerability. Whoa, this is the beautiful cherry on top. It feels almost like, okay, I'm, we're in, I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, so I'm using this as a, a metaphor. Even if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you can feel this energy. It's like, we are just got done with winter, the winter time of our lives, and everything is starting to unfreeze. We still see the snow, we still see the bleakness, but we know spring is coming. And with that, it makes, you know, the letting go of winter okay again, like the hurt, the pain of the past, of what didn't happen before, start to melt away. And I think you guys are on this road now in April of self-discovery, 
through whatever it's processing older memories and emotions and choosing how to respond to it differently, whether it's by, you know, even remembering those things of the past that hurt you to still believe in yourself, to still give yourself that chance that is going to, you know, help break free of this freezing time. But again, like the cocoon era is kind of what I'm seeing here is coming to an end. But the key to come out of it is self-discovery, self-trust. That's the key to make everything unfreeze and start to happen for you guys. And I think even with this energy for some of you, this romantic energy, fiery, romantic, passionate energy, they're saying the one way to get your guard down is to be vulnerable. And then maybe if they did view you recently to be a bit cold, once you see that vulnerable side, it'll get you to start to see this person's trying and they're doing something that I can see they don't do for most people. And that may be giving you a sign to start, you know, letting the guard down bit by bit, not all at once, but at least a little bit. Tell me more about April for Gemini spirit. Caution Oof, with money. Okay. So it says, use caution when making financial decisions. Careful not to overspend on wants instead of needs. More going out than coming in. Okay, so Gemini, be careful with your spending. When I say like take a chance and take a risk, that means more so putting the intention out there that you haven't done in a while. But I wouldn't. If there's like an opportunity that is asking you to pay a whole bunch of money before you get the class, before you get the certification, before you can go to that next level, it's... I, I almost feel a little bit of scammer energy here, okay? Financially speaking. So be aware of that. But also just... um. We have to learn moderation, so when you're in this freedom era, just pay a little bit of attention to your finances, and if there's something that maybe, okay, going out again, if I spend all this money on drinks, like, am I going to be prepared to pay the other things I want to buy? Just be mindful of how you're spending your money this month, because you could go all out, you can definitely have a good time, but just realize when maybe you're spending too much money on things that uh, aren't going to help you in the long term. But overall, I kind of feel like invest in the right things is kind of what I'm getting from this card intuitively. And as you invest in the right things, I think the caution is going to kind of fade away because you know what you're doing. With the devil energy in the middle of the month, I would be careful lending anyone money at this time. Okay, just saying, I don't know if they're going to pay it back. I don't know if they're going to pay it back by when they say they will and it'll be months later. Um, and they may try to use your emotions to get you to pay them or to get you to loan them the money. But there's different intention behind the emotions that they're using to make, convince you, okay? I'm just going to throw that out there as well. Feels like a family member very strongly here. All right. Tell me more about April for Gemini. Okay. The keeper of the scales, balance. Yes, that's what I was feeling with the moderation, right? It's all about balance. And that's where you guys are kind of finding the need to put something more on one side of the scale that you haven't been because you felt it was wrong or you felt like it wasn't the right time or that you couldn't do it. Whether that's a little bit of, you know, faith, whether that's a little bit of self-indulgence, but again, not too much. Um, you guys are kind of learning that things are going to balance themselves out as you stay optimistic, as you stay true to yourself, what that truth does in shifting the scales of your life. And I got to say, if there was anything unjust done to you or will with the devil here, someone tries to do something unjust to you, they will not succeed. Justice will be yours. Things will turn out in your favor if you act in the right intention and the right purpose, period. It will all play out that way. So remember that as well, Gemini, especially for those of you that may be encountering devil energy in the middle of the month. All right, Gemini, 
We're going to go ahead and get one more card from this deck I've been dying to use. I feel like Aries season, as I'm filming this in Aries season, is the best way to use this deck of cards. They're sarcastic. They're funny. They're meant to be sarcastic and funny. Um, they're not meant to offend anyone. But they're a little bit of like being very real at saying what you need to hear. And I hope you guys don't take offense to it because I don't mean to use it offensively at all. It's to lighten things up a bit. So it says, you look like a shit show. You're a hot ass mess. Fact, clean yourself up. So, okay. Yeah, I think this is the stifling of the five of air that you've been going through recently of being too overly stimulated and conflicted by things that are outside of your control, outside of yourself, the gossip. And so maybe you've seen because of holding too much value to other people's opinions or expectations, it's led you to make decisions that um, have not settled right with you. So I feel this April is cleaning yourself up is by trusting in your own decisions and being a little bit free, being a little bit risk takey and then balancing that out with also knowing when spending too much, spending too much time on a certain someone, on a certain situation that is unwilling to accept you, that is unwilling to change and not kind of catering yourself for their acceptance. That's what makes you the shit show. But other than that, I feel, Gemini, you're coming out of that era of where you felt like everything has been messy, nothing has been certain, into just being more decisive, taking more control, taking more risks, and just showing up in a way that's like, we'll see how this goes, but if I feel it's right, I'm going to go for it. The hot mess is the you or the version of you that holds on to the ego and the devil that is clearing its way out. Remember, you're the butterfly coming out of the cocoon and this is just the threshold of breakthrough that is going to get you to this exciting new chapter that is waiting to unfold. So trust yourself, Gemini, this month. Thank you so, so much for joining me here for your reading. I really hope it resonated. I hope it gave you tons of clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to your month of what's to come and what's unfolding and anything else I can tell you about it. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Gemini, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Gemini.